Well, the New York Post thinks that they were excluded, perhaps on purpose, by the White House for an event for the president. Stephen Nelson, who is the White House correspondent for The Post, said that he was denied media access to attend Joe Biden's talk on investing in airline accountability. This was the only daytime public event the president had on his schedule for the day, and he did not take any questions from the press. The Post published the email that Mr Nelson received. It said, We are unable to accommodate your credential request to attend the investing in airline accountability remarks on the 8th of May. The remarks will be live streamed and can be viewed on whitehouse.gov. Thank you for understanding. We will let you know if a credential becomes available. The White House did not offer up an excuse as to why the New York Post reporter wasn't allowed to attend the event, but according to the publication, it has used space limitations in recent times to explain why certain reporters aren't allowed. In this situation, according to photos from the event, there was about 20 chairs in the press area vacant. Now, whether or not this was on purpose that the New York Post was excluded, it does come at a suspicious time with Hunter Biden being under the microscope. The Post has basically led most reporting on Hunter Biden, given it was given access to his now infamous laptop. Hunter Biden's laptop is basically a tangled web of personal and professional scandals for the president's son. The Post broke the original story just three weeks before the 2020 presidential election, but it was widely regarded as Russian disinformation and was heavily censored because of that. It has since been verified to be the contents of Hunter Biden, which cast a dark cloud over the Biden family and the Democratic Party. The White House's relationship with the media has been under intense scrutiny ever since Joe Biden took office because of his lack of press conferences, general question taking or sit down interviews. The Post editorial team wrote in an opinion piece, we wonder if they think he can't handle reporters, just what duties are they trusting him with? Joe Biden's embattled son could soon be facing consequences for his alleged crimes. Federal prosecutors are reportedly gearing up to potentially charge Hunter Biden with tax crimes and lying on a form in relation to the purchase of a firearm. Hunter Biden allegedly ticked the box on the form when buying a gun, saying that he wasn't a drug user, despite a public drug addiction and the fact that his memoir described being on drugs at that point in his life. While this particular investigation is not looking into any dodgy deals Hunter Biden has done with overseas businesses, Republicans are holding their own investigation into whether the Biden family is guilty of anything criminal or influence peddling. Joe Biden was asked about his son in an interview with MSNBC's Stephanie Rule on Friday. Sir, there is something personal that's affecting you. Your son, while there's no ties to you, could be charged by your Department of Justice. How will that impact your presidency? First of all, my son's done nothing wrong. I trust him, I have faith in him, and it impacts my presidency by making me feel proud of him. But this investigation may have gone on long enough. It has been operating out of Delaware since 2018 and has not reached a conclusion on whether he had committed any crimes. The Washington Post last week reported that US Attorney David Weiss, who was leading the investigation, was near to a decision. That report came after Hunter Biden's lawyers were spotted meeting with members of the Department of Justice's tax division to figure out where they were at with the probe. This story has exhausted me. I am, I've been confounded as to why it has taken almost five years, if not right at five years, for a U.S. attorney, and it seems like there may be, be a special counsel in the Justice Department also looking at Hunter. If he's done something wrong, let's get on with it. Let's make the charges and let him confront those charges. And it appears from what his father said, the president, uh, is that he's going to is going to plead innocent to these charges, or that the, that the young man has done nothing wrong.